Welcome to the REI Foundation Podcast, where we cover all the steps and strategies to make your real estate dreams a reality. Now your hosts, Jason and Peely. Hi, everybody. Welcome again to the REI Foundation Podcast with Jason and Peely. It's Friday. Happy Friday. (laughs) (laughs) It is Foundation Inspection Fridays. So today we are going to be talking about should you get your real estate license? So this hits us directly because that's one of the first things I did. Um, We all had a discussion, Jason and I and his family, and I was pregnant at the time and we decided it'd be a great thing for me to go ahead and get my license. Um, We were in the restaurant business right before then and I decided I didn't want to continue on that path and this seemed to be the most direct way for us to get to know our markets that we wanted to get into. Um, So I would say yes, but it's not needed. You don't need to get your real estate license. So if you're using the fact that you don't have your real estate license as like a crutch, a crutch or an excuse for not getting into real estate, then you definitely don't need to get your license. But if you know that getting your license will help you to learn the markets like I did and to get direct access to the MLS like I did, then go ahead and go for it. Um, every state is different. Getting your real estate license may, it does cost a bit of money and there's a lot of fees involved. Again, it's state by state and you do have to go to a few classes and then you have to hang your license at a real estate agency. Um, so yes, it just really depends on what you want to do and how you learn. So it was good for me to get my license um, because that's where we found our first couple deals. But then our minds opened up to other ways of getting deals. Yeah. And I I would disagree. I would say it's been great that PLA has her license, but you don't need your license at all. You can find an investor from the agent that can do all this work for you, especially if you don't have your 30, 40, 50, 60, I don't know. I don't remember how many hours it was, but it was a good amount of time. It took you to get, uh, get a license. And if you have a full-time job and you're thinking, well, now I need to get my license. No, you don't. I don't have my license and I have no, well, it makes it easier because Peely has it, but I have no desire. And and I think if Peely didn't get it, I, I, that may help us too, because we started off just looking on the MLS for deals. And there's a lot of ways to get access for the MLS without having her uh, be an agent. But there's also a lot of better ways to find deals that we're not just putting it out to the mass market and looking where everybody else is looking. So sure, you can get it and it may help you in some ways, but it also might slow you down in some ways. So just maybe goes back to how fully invested you want to get into all formats of real estate versus if you want to just get going today, well, don't let the real estate license stop you because it's not to me as significant as some people make it. Well, that's our opinion on the fact. And if you have any questions, comments, please leave us, please leave us a review on iTunes, hit the little five star button, one, two, three, four, five. And let us know, let us know what you think. Thank you so very much for joining us again. This is Jason and Peely for the REI Foundation podcast, Foundation Inspection Fridays. Thank you so much. Bye. Thanks for tuning into the REI Foundation podcast. Check back next time for more awesome tips and strategies to launch your new you in real estate.